<sighs> this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Arc date 2015 16. Um, it's after sundown. Moon is out. Um, as I've said before, every day since creation, on the 15th day of the month, it's been a full moon. And, uh, just wanted to have a few thoughts here. We had a, had a good Sabbath call with, um, a lunar Sabbath group and people from all over the country. And some thoughts came out of that. Um, one was, what can we do? Um, what's the most effective thing we can do? And that would be prayer. And, uh, one person brought up, uh, George Mueller and the orphanage that he ran in England and how he depended on, I think it was in England, yeah, and he depended on, you know, the Father for everything. <clears throat> if they needed uh, 50 pounds of wheat, they'd pray for 50 pounds of wheat, and somebody would bring him 50 pounds of wheat, so I've been reduced to pretty much nothing. Um, computer crashed, I was going to set up a, try to set up a couple or three um, crowd funders, and that is not going to happen. Uh, my van died, so <clears throat> I'm going to just stay here and pray and do some videos. And I want to specifically, we talked also about the wedding feast and how the uh, invitations were sent out and the people who you would think would have been friends and the quote-unquote church people, the people related to the groom would have been glad to come, but they said, no, we're too busy. And... Uh, Invitations were set out again, and they killed some and stoned some. That's, you know, the prophets. But there's a great wedding feast, and a friend of mine, dear, dear, dear friend of mine called today, and I talked to him for quite a while, and he said, look at how much of Scripture of the prophets are about one event, one event, the wedding feast. And uh, so that's um, what I wanted to talk about, and the fact that invitations have been sent out and been rejected, and so I'm just inviting um, two things. I'm requesting prayer, uh, not just for me, but for the work here and the gathering, the wedding feast that I see coming, and the fact that uh, a lot of people aren't seeing that, aren't, aren't heeding it, aren't listening to the invitation. They're too busy trying to make money, and they're grasping at things and comforts and entertainments. So I'm just sending out an invitation worldwide. You know, come to the wedding feast, come to the gathering. And uh, specifically, I'm um, speaking, of course, the Ozark Plateau. Uh, for what's coming, it's going to be a great place to be. And if you wish to be a part of that, um, come on out, bring your resources. And I'm talking worldwide. I am inviting people from all over the world to come. I just had a man from, uh, I believe, Germany uh, subscribe and... Uh, so, bless you. Um, I just want to give an invitation here to everybody around the world that wants to be peaceable and grow food and provide healing and shelter for people. Uh, please bring your resources, bring your knowledge, bring your heart, bring your, your goodwill and uh, ability to garden and plant seeds and uh, develop alternative energies and alter alternative healings. So, kind of straying there on the focus there. I hope you can see the windmill there. I've got the moon in between the windmill. Anyway, um, that's about all i got to say. Um, just, uh, it's an invitation. I need to understand that things are going to change here drastically very soon. No question. China and Russia are doing a, another currency. Things are going to change in September and I believe again in October with the currency wars going on. And uh, so just an invitation. Yeah, I'm tired and kind of, it's it a good day, good day of rest. And just pray for, uh, pray for this operation here. So God bless you all. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. 
If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. And please, I don't say this too often, but please subscribe, um, like, share. I've only got like a hundred and some subscribers, but I'd sure like to see that. I see these videos out there with, you know, 5,000, 100,000 subscribers. And whew, it's going to be a little bit too late, a little bit too little too late, but <clears throat> I'm doing what I can do. And I'm going to trust that uh, things work out for the greater good for the most number of people. So, hallelujah. Goodbye.